DB here with the Tour Junkies. On behalf of Bet the Number, I'm going to do a walkthrough, a quick demo for you from one of the four pages that you find on BetTheNumberGolf.com, the tournament page, which is the first page you come to. I'm also going to do a demo for the custom model, the player page, and the course breakdown page. You can find all of those here on the YouTube channel. Check it out. I'm trying to make them all short, quick, and punchy. But you know what? This, this video is going to have a short shelf life because – the folks over at Bet the Number are hammering away. The developers are sipping Red Bulls and Celsius and coffees and holding their eyes open with, with tape all night so they can improve this site on a regular basis. So the version that we see today on January 5th, 2024, is going to look very different in the future, very soon in the future. So if, you're, if you've already subscribed, I know you're enjoying it, but if you haven't already, this might give you a high-level overview of what's to come. Uh, but the site just dropped on January 1st. I'm still learning my way through it. I might make a, a hiccup here, here or there. Drop in the comments if you have any questions about anything. If you want to sign up, the link is in the description, and you can use promo code TJ at checkout to get $5 off the monthly and $50 off the annual price. But if you're a Tour Junkies Discord member, you get the largest discount anywhere available on the internet. That's right, anywhere. <coughs> ah! on the annual membership for Bet the Number. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to share my screen. First of all, when you go to bettthenumbergolf.com, this is what it looks like. This is our landing page here. Um, talking about how you're going to first obviously get into the course details, which I'll go over in another video. Crunch the numbers, build your custom model, confirm your picks here on our player page, and count the cash, people. Count the a cash. All right, so here we go. Now let's get into the tournament page, which, again, is the only page I'm going to show. I can't stress this enough. This is only one page of the four. I'm breaking down the individual pages in different videos to make them short and compact. I think the custom model will be the most interesting, most detailed, probably the longest video to show you what all the custom model can do. So you might want to check that out. But don't message me and be like, DB, this is all this website does is the tournament page. No, don't do that. Don't be a, don't be a ding dong. All right, so this is for the century, and this is pre-tournament. Uh, I've got it loaded here, pre-tournament century, so we'll walk through that here in a second. So like I said, you've got four pages here on about the number. We're looking at the tournament page for this video. You can sort by the year, and you can sort by the golf tournament, all in order here. Images and everything come through from straight from the PGA Tour. I should have led with that. Bet the number is a licensed PGA Tour shot link data provider so all of the uh, pga shot link pga tour stats and shot link data comes in live to bet the number and they push it out so you know the data is good you know it's clean and you know it's timely there is nothing nothing no stat out there that the tour and shot link are collecting that bet the number can't get and doesn't have access to we don't show all the goodies but we show most of them at the top bar, you're going to have some course, basic course info. And this is a little different than what you get on the course page. So it's added intel here, which is good. This is meant to give you kind of a snapshot of the golf course. Obviously, the name, where it is, the, the par and yardage, who it's designed by. Uh, over here on the far right, we categorize them ourselves based on uh, confirmation from not just the tour and from GCSAA, but also caddies and players that we know. So you may see sometimes that certain grass types may differ from what you may read in an article somewhere. But we categorize it in what we know how the golf course plays. That probably more comes into uh, into, in, into a factor when it's like a bent POA mix or it's a Bermuda, but it's dormant. We have those category, categories behind the scenes about the number, and we confirm them with players, caddies, and, and, and other people that are on site at that golf course every single year. So we trust ours, but it'll tell you the green size, the grass, the chipping grass, and the rough grass, which are all key. And then here in the middle, you have some basic stats to give you an, an overview of the golf course. At this course, fairway hit percentage is way above the tour average at 74.7. So all of these metrics have the tour average below. We've got green and regulation, scrambling, three putt, greater than 25 feet, birdies per round, bogeys per round, par three, par four, and par five scoring average. Pretty self-explanatory here up top. Now, we're going to look at the field. Now, this looks similar to the course model page. But the stats that are loaded here in this top bar are basic BTN stats that come in, and they're pretty static from tournament to tournament. So if you loaded a new tournament another week from now, you're probably going to see the same stats here at the top of the bar. Again, giving you a high-level overview of some basic stats that apply just about everywhere that people are going to want to know. In the custom model, we're going to get way more custom, hence the name. 
custom model. Okay, so on the tournament page, these are going to stay static. Now, here's something you need to know. On the far right-hand side of both the tournament page and the custom model page, you can look at these stats three different ways. Currently, it's selected at raw value. So if I wanted to see, like, what is the actual raw value for Scotty Scheffler's ball speed? It's 179.086. How many actual birdies per round? 4.55. If I click on rankings, this is probably what most of you are used to seeing. It's a little simpler view. And it says, where do these guys rank in the field based on the parameters? Um, so this is just a pure ranking. And then BTN score is important. Um, this is kind of like, the simplest way to say it is it's kind of a power rating or it's a, it's a better statistical number than just a ranking or, uh, or a power rating. Even it's probably not a, not a great way to say it. Uh, I like to look at it kind of like a Madden rating. So if you just move the decimal, that means like Scotty's in 96 in stroke team off the tee in, in Madden rating. But there is a better definition. I'll go over that in the custom model video. Um, so stay tuned for that. Obviously, here in the player search, it's a live search, so I can start typing, and it'll start narrowing it down for me. Um, pretty pretty easy there. So simple. Okay. Let's look here at this top left section. Uh, and this, like I said, is going to be changing very soon and, and constantly. We have the odds section, the DFS section, and the year-to-date stats. And this is helping you see, you know, understand what you're going to see here in the columns. So odds, if you hover, I have outright displayed right now. I can remove that or I can click it. I can do top 10s. I want to see top 20s and it'll add it to the column. Same thing with DFS. Right now, it's just DK salary or you don't want to see DK, DraftKings uh, DFS salary. Going to be adding FanDuel very soon as well. Um, and then year to date stats like FedEx Cup points, season earnings and cash, uh, how many wins, how many top 10s this season. Uh, in this case, it's the previous season. So you can easily customize your, uh, you, you know, your columns and what you're seeing here. So now we get into the, the actual section here. As you click on a player's row, it will drop down and give you the most five, the five most recent tournaments that players played. And then the, the up to five years course history, um, if they've got five years of course history at that tournament with the basic strokes gain data. Now, if you want to see the full history that a player may have, if it's more than five years, we'll, we'll cover that in the player video on the player page. That's very easy to see. But this just gives you a quick view, and it does stay there if you click on somebody else. If I go to Victor Hovland, or let's go to somebody who's played here a bunch. Uh, let's see, like probably Xander. So you can see here it's showing me the last five years of Xander's history here at Kapalua, uh, and it does stay here, and, and you just click it again to make it go away. Uh, all of these columns you can sort by. So if I want to sort by DK salary, if I want to sort by stroke gain off the tee, however you want to sort it, you can uh, you can do that. Pretty pretty self explanatory there. And that is the uh, if you click the player's name, it kicks you to the player profile page. And that is the tournament page. So again, that's just one page that is not the custom model, and it is not the full course breakdown. Uh, preview page that we have, uh, course analysis page that we have, and it's you know obviously it's not the player page. So that is the tournament page. Um, let me show you real quick because I know I mentioned it, but let me actually show you what the definition for our oh my gosh what's going on um, the definition for the BTN score the the proprietary BTN score in our custom model is anything but arbitrary. We use advanced statistics to calculate how much a player deviates from the field in each metric, and then weight the BTN score across your selected metrics to determine each player's overall model score for the tournament. It provides a powerful improvement over the traditional ranking methodology. You can actually see how meaningful the variance is from player to player across the diverse set of statistics that you have selected, filtered, and fine-tuned fine -tuned in your custom model. Exclusively on about the number. That's just a tweet from at BTN Golf. Follow them if you don't already on Twitter. And one more time, if you want to get bet the number you can actually if you're watching on youtube you can scan that qr code right now and make sure you include promo code tj just tj for tour junkies at checkout to get the five dollar off monthly cost and fifty dollar off the annual cost if you use promo code tj but if you are in the tour junkies discord and you are an active paying member hit hit me up slide up in db's dms in the discord and i will give you a one-time unique promo code that gives you a the largest discount available uh, anywhere in the world for an annual BTN membership. It's pretty sick. 
All right, I think that's it for me. Be sure and check out other videos. I will show you the, uh, the, the custom model, the course page, and the player page in those. And you know what? Like I said, th these, these videos will not last long because the site's going to change quickly. We've got people working on it. It's going to be great. Promise. All right, see you.